All right, peace everyone. Hope you can hear me. Uh, I was just about to start on this upper body slash torso day, hitting chest, back, and shoulders. And I remember one of the viewers left me a comment saying they wanted to see one of the workouts, um, including all my warm ups, because a lot of times I only just post my work sets. So, shout out to you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for that suggestion. That's what we're gonna do starting from the very beginning. So let's go. Exercise number one, hammer strength shoulder press. Starting with shoulders this time, uh, if you've seen some of my other upper body videos, you know that sometimes we, sh we start with a vertical press and then do a horizontal press. Sometimes we start with a horizontal press, follow with a vertical, just to switch things up. And also because, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you do, well, I found that if I do a, um, whichever press I do first, I'm going to be strongest then. So that way, some days uh, my shoulders get the benefit of the heavier press um, or my best pressing effort, I should say. And then sometimes chest gets it. When I'm getting more into a powerlifting phase, preparing for a meet though, I'll always bench first. You probably noticed me shifting around quite a bit in that first set. Uh, shifting on the seat and I do it a little bit here I'll do it on some other exercises some days my body just feels out of balance I guess that's the best way to put it like twisted or something and uh, particularly on machines it takes me sometimes a set or two to really feel like I'm in the right position so you know everything's moving properly uh, some days it's easier than others this one this one was kind of tough Yeah. Sixty. Right. Hopefully this will be my last warm up and not my first work set by mistake. Let's see. Speaking of being twisted and out of balance, over the last few months, uh, since the beginning of this year, 2022, I've been going to the joint chiropractor and I think it's been helping uh, quite a bit. Uh, if you'd like to see me do a recap, a review of it, and kind of show what it's like there, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll make a video about that, show you what it's like in there. Yeah, you can go up one more time. 125. Get this money. Not for time. You know what's serious now. Okay, these are the types of sets that we go to the gym for. Going all out, this is my first set to failure. Some people may say it's not exactly failure because I don't actually fail a rep. For some people, that's what training to failure is. I'm wearing a shoulder brace under here because of a torn labrum I had many years ago. I've had a problem with that left shoulder ever since. So I really don't want to be pushing so hard that I fail a rep. I think I've been doing this long enough and know myself well enough now to know when uh, a particular rep is the last rep of a set. Um, I'm right most of the time. Funny enough, um, the torn labrum was on my left side. I've had a other shoulder injury on my right side, but for some reason I'm able to extend my left arm left shoulder more than the right one. Go figure. So was that a work set? Yeah, that was a work set. That was, that was legit, that was hard. 125 aside for the work set, so uh, 110 for the back off. All you. I call these back off sets just as a way of distinguishing them in my mind their work sets, you know, I don't know how I got into the habit of 
referring to these things by different names. I'm not trying to overcomplicate anything. It's just my way of knowing that it's a work set that's lighter than the heaviest set that I'm intending to do on a particular day. But it's still a work set. Um, and it's clearly to failure or very close to it. Um, finish it with a slow negative, just like um, the heavier set also. Did your elbow crack? No, so I didn't hear, I didn't hear it or feel it. Oh, I thought I heard a crack. Oh, I don't know, so what? So I didn't feel, so I'm gonna say no. Okay, so the press went well. Now we're going to the hammer strength chest press. Uh, this is their, their version of the flat bench press. There is an incline, incline press uh, right next to it, but we're only gonna do one work set here because we intend to hit the pec deck uh, a little later in this session. So uh, we'll get more chest work then. Let's go. Hoping, hoping two warm ups. Two warm ups should be enough because we were pressing. So all the same muscles we just worked. Um, that we're working here, we just worked on the shoulder press. Not as much pec, obviously, which is why we're over here. But shoulders and triceps should be plenty more by now. I guess you could tell on that first set of chest presses, I was struggling mightily just to find the right spot to sit in and right groove to press in. You know, and it's weird because on a machine, you really shouldn't have a lot of variety in how you can press. All right. If, keep recording. Um, if, I, if I overshot the weight, I'm going to do it, make this a drop set because it's my only set here. Because again, remember, we're doing pet that in a little bit. But I don't want this to be a set of like six, you know what I mean? I'll get there. We still got to do that deep in November. Anyway, all right, enough of that. Let's go. This turned into a drop set. It just as easily could have been a rest pause set, uh, but I'm being a little more conservative with my <laughs> joints, ligaments and stuff right now. So that's why uh, instead of just pausing after failure and doing another rep or two or three with this same weight, I just lowered the weight. Um, just seems a little safer going that route. But for where I am right now, I really don't want my heaviest upper body exercises to be below eight reps in a set. Uh, I'm good with six reps, like on a squat or deadlift. But um, that will change uh, in the next few months because, again, I intend to compete in the IPL drug tested North American powerlifting championships in November. So the reps are going to have to drop as the weight goes up. All right, done our, mate, our pressing exercises. Now on to vertical and horizontal pulls. And we're gonna go between the seated row and this pull down uh, to save a little bit of time. Instead of sharing stations, we're each gonna be at one, finish all our sets at one, then switch. So I'm gonna start on the seated row 
Kimberly's gonna start on uh, the pull down and then we'll switch. You're only gonna see mine in this video, but just letting you know how uh, the workout is, uh, is being paced along. So on to seated rows for me. Seated cable rows, uh, two quick things I guess I'll note here. Uh, for the horizontal rows, right now I have two, I guess three. Two that I'm that I rotate between. I do the seated cable rows and I do barbell rows or rack pulls. The barbell rows and the rack pulls have a much wider grip to the seated rows or a horizontal pull with a narrow grip. Uh, narrow grip, pardon me there. Then on the other hand, for the vertical pulls, uh, I do a pull down. Uh, in this session, you'll see it with the wider straight bar, and then. In the other upper body or torso session, you'll see me doing pull downs with this handle. So wide once, narrow the other time. And the other thing is you'll notice there's a little bit of sway, um, you know, forward and back in these rows. Same thing when I'm doing barbell rows uh, and even with pull downs with either a wide or a narrow grip. And that's so that there can be a good stretch of the lats at the end of the negative. See how um, I'm not reaching, but I'm letting my arms go forward. I'll do the same thing again at the top of the pull down. And I don't think you can do that and keep a strict range of motion. What I'm saying is this should be a warm up set. I don't want it to be that difficult, like as close to failure, but the weight is heavy enough that it's going to make you have to do it again. And you know, I Last warm up is about mentally getting myself ready for the work set as much as physically. Um, just kind of mental checklist, make sure I'm doing the movement properly. Like you see, I'm pulling it in low. Uh, if you pull these too high, like high up towards your chest or the top of your abdomen, it becomes more of a bicep exercise than a lat exercise. All right, let's go. Yeah. I'm not sure what to expect. Yeah. So how'd it feel? Not bad. The left side is still not firing right, but overall pretty good. I, I, I might repeat that weight. Just the same. This is an experiment. Instead of a back off, um, I'm just going up again and make, making this my last set, expecting to only get six reps. Eight, if I'm really lucky, I'll probably have to cheat to get that. Let's see. All right, now on to pull downs. And as I mentioned a little earlier, you'll notice I'm going wide grip here. And that's just to balance things out a bit with the narrow 
um, seated row that I did earlier on other torso upper body days you'll see me doing a wide grip horizontal pull that will usually be a barbell row in the Smith machine or a rack pull in the Smith machine and then um, on those days we'll do a narrow grip pull down instead of the wide grip pull down that you see me doing here also you can see that at the top of this movement with arms fully extended I like to sway forward a little bit uh, again to make sure I get a good stretch on the lats um, don't want to exaggerate it too much especially as the weight gets heavier again I've had a history of shoulder problems history in present day and present day shoulder problems I probably should say and something going on with my back um, on the left side I'll address that in an upcoming video but anyway uh, get that full stretch full contraction a note about the mouth guard I've been using that for several years um, probably 12 years or more since a dentist recommended that I do it in order to keep my teeth from grinding while lifting uh, it's also become something of a mental or psychological thing also I save it for my work sets or heavier sets it's kind of my way of letting myself know all right once i pop this in it, it, it's real now i can't mess around Ooh. come on Eleven and three quarters. Huh? Eleven and three quarters. Eleven. <laughs> you sure? No. Nope. I thought you weren't counting. I don't know. What's this? Ninety. Bogus. You can lower the seat. Well, I'm shorter than you, sorry. It took me a few reps to get this in the right spot as far as the placement of the seat, as well as how far back the arms of the machine went. Uh, as far as the seating, I like to put it in a spot so that when, um, when I contract uh, out in front of me, it's, it would be kind of lower on the pecs as opposed to higher, you know, by my shoulders. And um, on the stretch, I like to be able to, well, for lack of a better term, just get a good stretch on the negative part. I think that on a lot of exercises, if not, if not most, uh, the stretch, the negative is just as important as the, um, the positive, the contracting uh, part of the exercise. Concentric, better word than contracting. Y'all know what I mean. But at this point of the workout, um, everything's warmed up, everything's loose, everything's been worked already. So uh, just one warm up set here, and then it's on to the work set. Almost ready for huh? Oh, you never raised the seat. It felt better. Okay. I didn't move anything. This work set ended up being a drop set, uh, higher reps in for an isolation move and for a fly or pec deck, um, basically same movement pattern. Um, that I would consider an isolation move because really you're on, you should only be moving at the shoulders. Uh, your elbows are gonna be pretty fixed um, in this movement pattern. So this is basically a chest isolation move. And for isolation moves, I really like to do them uh, at least 15 reps, um, sometimes 20 or more. Obviously I picked too much weight to get 15 here, so we dropped and uh, got some more reps in. All right, 
if it's going to be a true drop set or true rest pause uh, with the same weight, you got to keep the rest down to a minimum in order to, at least for me, to be able to consider it part of the same set or a cluster set. Uh, rest too long and basically you're just doing straight sets. It's not the same. You can't call it part of the same set anymore. So uh, that's why I'm considering this as, you know, the second part of a set as opposed to a new set altogether. The rest wasn't that long. Gotta adjust stuff. I'm shorter than you. Right. Weird. Weird. I just some more. This is my next to last set for the day. So the video is about to wrap up. Um, but I will say that rear delts, um, they get overlooked a lot. There are some body parts that just don't get, for most people, don't get the attention they deserve. I think rear delts are one of them, calves are probably one of them, abs are probably one of them. Um, I can address all those uh, at other times if you'd like, but rear delts, I've been trying to make it a point to make sure that they get worked on a regular basis, uh, not only from an appearance standpoint, but also uh, from a functional standpoint. A lot of power lifters consider rear delt work whether it's something like this, face pulls or other exercises, consider that part of uh, something called prehab, you know, trying to uh, prevent rehab. All right. Let's see what you got. You got 20 or 25 reps. You don't know, right? I have to count them. So once I knew Kimberly had gotten at least that number of reps, um, I couldn't do less than that. <laughs> so I really pushed myself through a rest pause here to make sure that I didn't, um, you know, I didn't do anything less than what she did. You gotta set the good example, right? So anyway, um, yeah, this is how we ended things up uh, with the, with the uh, rear delts. And then uh, it's time to recover. Um, before I forget, if you've made it through this video because this has been a very long one compared to most of my other videos first of all let me say thank you thank you multiple times over thanks for sticking through it i hope you got something from it please leave me a comment let me know what you did get from it let me know what questions you may have for me i'd love to answer them either in the comments or in another video uh, please also make sure you give this video a thumbs up Give us the like helps the channel quite a bit and also please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and also please click that notification bell to stay up to date with everything that we put out again please leave your comments let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see any questions you'd like to have answered and uh, i do my best to answer each and every comment or respond to each and every comment that um, all the viewers leave so i appreciate you i thank you and again, I hope you got something out of this. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace, everyone.